the vocabulary uh, tool I looked at was the Freyer model, and it was created in 1969 by two guys called Freyer, Frederick, and Plusmeyer. And its purpose is to teach vocabulary, vocabulary at a higher level, and really to help students understand the difference between similar concepts, and it helps kids become linguistically smart. So there's four major components to the Freyer model. If you look at the one I gave you on democracy, you can see them. There's the definition, and in the definition box, kids are going to write the definition of the word in their own, uh, in their own words. And characteristics, you're going to list characteristics, examples, you want to list examples, and preferably why is an example. And same with non-examples, you want to list sort of non-examples and say why. So we're going to take a bit of practice. Of, I'm the democracy one, I want everyone to just quickly uh, just write something out. For the definition? For everything. Oh, for everything. I'm the democracy. Yeah. I'm already blocked on that, just to have some little bit of practice. And it guides you don't have to really go all out or be really specific on your definition of what a democracy is or what it could be. Or if you want to, you can have them close. So like, start somebody tell me what they wrote down as a definition for democracy. A type of government where everyone has input. Okay. And how about the character or characteristic that he wrote? Anybody? Ability, equal. Oh, that one's good. I did that one. Yeah. yeah. Different words or characters. Then how about an example? Yes. yes. Presidential yes. election. And another yes. example? Yes. Good. 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 They shouldn't write something like a cow. It has to be something that is related, but not a real example. Okay? <laughs> so, well, this is like a canonical example of how we use a, the prayer model. There are some other common modifications. Like sometimes the definition isn't really important or helpful. Like for example, this is the definition of mammal from the Merriam-Webster. It's a class of four modern higher vertebrates, such as placental, prostupials, or monotremes. <laughs> The nurse are young with milk secreted by mammary glands and have the skin usually more or less covered with hair and, inclu and includes humans. So why isn't this definition like very helpful? Why wouldn't it be a good definition to use with the Freyer model? Because who knows what placental versus <laughs> or monotremes are? Right. Maybe some didn't even know vertebrates. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Basically, the definition here, it just lists the characteristics, like that it has mammary glands, skin covered with hair, and examples. Uh, humans, placentals, marsupials, monotremes. So instead, you can use a very model of, instead of having a definition, you want to list essential and non-essential characteristics. So an essential characteristic is something that's necessary for something to be a mammal. For example, like mammary glands, which I'll probably assume. And for non-essential characteristics, you might want to include something like uh, giving live birth, because the platypus, which is a mammal, doesn't uh, lay eggs. Like, so for non-essential characteristics, it's things that are common to the definition, like most mammals give live birth, but not essential, it doesn't, it's not required. So, actually you don't have to practice again, <laughs> but if you want to, just like write out, you can write out stuff for what a mammal is, or think that, or somebody just want to tell me something essential about a mammal. Or blood. Or blood is good. And non-essential? Covered in hair. Yeah, because whales are not really covered in hair. Yeah, that's right, true. So some comes from the giving an example of a mammal. A whale. A whale. <laughs> and a non example? A snake. Of her. Yeah, a snake. So okay, that's my references. But you can also have other uh, modifications, like for if you want to differentiate for like lower students, like you can have a withdraw picture instead of one of the boxes. Uh, 
Hmm. Anything else? There's a lot of different ways you can use this with the web. Good. Good job. Good job.